by determining the correct square footage or area on my roof i know exactly how many shingles roof tiles or galvanized iron sheets required for a roof i know the exact number of roofing materials required without overestimation or underestimation and in this video we are going to share with you exactly how you can calculate the area or the square footage for a roof there are a number of roofing types or types of roofing design including gable roofs hip roofs shed roofs flat roofs gambling roofs butterfly roofs among others to get the total roof area i can add up different plant areas and so can you for example this is a flat roof of two meters for all sides so getting its area we get side multiplied by side that is two meters multiplied by two meters which will give us four square meters or four meters squared a shed roof of six meters along the length and three meters along the width will give us area of length multiplied by width which will give us 6 meters multiplied by 3 meters which will give us 18 square meters or 18 meters squared. Roofs with different shapes for example hip roofs, butterfly roofs, gable roofs. We add total plan areas together to get the total area. Roofs have different shapes including the rectangle, square, triangle and trapezoid so you must know some of these formulas we get the area for a triangle as a half base times height area for a rectangle as length times width area for square as side times side area of trapezoid as side a plus side b over 2 multiplied by height let's take a look at an example of a hip roof it has two triangles and two trapezoids Considering this longest side as 8 meters, this side as 4 meters, here as 2 meters, and here as 2 meters, then this top ridge as 4 meters. Area for the trapezoid will be 8 meters plus 4 meters divided by 2 multiplied by 2 meters, which will give us 12 meters squared. Since we have two trapezoids, this one and this one, we multiply 12 times 2, which will give us 24 meters squared. Then area for the triangles, area will give us a half base times height, which is equal to a half times 4 times 2, making it 4 meters squared. Since we have two triangles, we get 4 meters squared multiplied by 2 which will give us 8 meters squared so the total roof area will be 24 meters squared which is the area for the trapezoids plus 8 meters squared which is the area for the triangles so the total will be 32 meters squared similarly for a gable roof and butterfly roof we get area for one side multiplied by and here this will be 6 meters multiplied by 3 meters giving us 18 meters squared then when we multiply by these two sides we get 36 meters squared here also 8 meters multiplied by 4 meters will give us 32 meters squared when we multiply by these two sides, it gives us 64 meters squared, which is the total roof area. For a complex roof like this one, this roof has a number of shapes with different roofing styles. The main roof is a gable roof from grid line A to K along the length, grid line 1 to 4 along the width, plus a number of trapezoids. Let's break this down on paper. This one is our main roof, what I named as shape A. This one in a blue frame. Then we have shape B, which is a square. Let's make this square for study purposes. Then we have shape C, 
which looks like triangles added up together, it's an octagon. Then shapes D, E, F and G are trapezoids. We will consider this longer side as 10 meters along the length, this side 6 meters along the width, then this side as 4 meters, here as 1 meter, this side as 4 meters and this side as 6 meters. Even on ground, as we said, this will be 4 meters, here as 1 meter, this side 4 meters and this side 6 meters. Total area for the roof will be adding up plan areas for the shapes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Area for A will be 10 meters multiplied by 6 meters and then we deduct this part of red dotted line. Area for B, we calculate it as area for square. Area for C, we calculate it as area for triangles. Then we multiply by the number of triangles and for this case, these are 8. Areas for D, E, F, G, we calculate it as area for trapezoid, which is side A plus side B over 2 multiplied by height. After adding up all these areas, we get total area as 102 meters squared or 1097.92 square feet. In terms of roofing squares, we get square footage divided by 100, which will give us 10.972 squares. In summary, we now know that calculating area for a roof involves adding different plan areas of different shapes and adding them together to get the total roof square footage. That's the end of our today's video. If you find it helpful, kindly hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section. Comment and suggest the video ideas and topics you'd like us to make. We are preparing another video this week about how to determine the amount of timber you need when roofing. Don't miss it out, it is super helpful. Subscribe not to miss it out. Thank you so much for watching.